If a half standard rate turn is maintained, how long would it take to turn 135 degrees? A. 1 minute 30 seconds B. 1 minute or C. 1 minute 20 seconds This white marker here on the turn coordinator indicates a turn at standard rate. If the wing of the small aircraft on this instrument is against this marker and the ball is in the middle, the turn will be at a standard rate of 3 degrees per second. The heading bug is on a heading of 135. I started a timer as we went through north and we will see how long it takes for the aircraft to reach a heading of 135 degrees. I have also set the true airspeed scale on the airspeed indicator to the current atmospheric conditions. We can calculate the angle of bank required for this turn by dividing the true airspeed which is 115 by 10, so we'll call that 12, and add 7, so around 19 degrees. This seems to be approximately correct looking at the bank angle here. Ok so approaching a heading approximately 120 there and we can see that it's taken about 40 seconds to this point. And now we're getting to a heading of 135 just rolling out and you can see that's taken about 45 seconds. We said earlier that the standard rate of turn is 3 degrees per second. So if we divide 135 by 3, 45 is exactly what we would expect. And the turn took 45 seconds. Applying a half standard rate turn on the bog standard turn coordinator is slightly trickier because there's no direct marking for it. You can estimate it by keeping the wing halfway between the zero turn rate marking and the standard rate marking. I've started the timer passing through north again. If we do the angle of bank calculation again, 115 divided by 10, rounded to 12, add 7 is 19. If we halve that for a half standard rate turn, the angle of bank required should be around 9 to 10 degrees. And you can see that's what we've got here, and if we have a look at the turn coordinator, we can see that the wing is around halfway between the zero rate of turn and the rate one turn marking. So that's looking around about right. Now obviously we know that the standard rate turn took around 45 seconds to get to 135 so it's not going to take much rocket science in order to figure out that we should take about a minute and a half to get to the 135 heading doing a half standard rate turn. So let's see if that works out. I suppose it mostly depends on whether I can maintain my angle of bank and stop my ball from misbehaving too much. So we're coming up to the heading of 135 there and it looks like it's going to work out for about a minute and a half give or take a couple of seconds which is probably my flying's fault. But that's because, like we said, there's no actual marking for a half standard rate turn, so we're just estimating it. Now what does have a half standard rate marking is this absolute monstrosity, I mean technical marvel, the G1000. So with 115 knots true airspeed again, around 19 degrees angle of bank gives us a standard rate turn. The bank angle is set and this magenta line against this white marker shows that the turn rate is indeed the standard 3 degrees per second. There is however a smaller white marker inside the larger one. This shows a half standard rate. Let's start the timer going through north again. So I've established the magenta line onto the half standard rate marker here. The timer is going. You can see that the angle of bank is around the 10 degrees that we calculated will be required for the half standard rate turn at this true airspeed on the previous example. Unfortunately I've lost my ball. But I do have the brick which fulfills the same function. I just need to keep it aligned with the angle of bank indicator triangle. I'm more of a ball guy though to be honest. So we just passed the halfway point on the turn and the timer was showing around 45 seconds so that's looking pretty good. The heading bug is set to 135 degrees. So we're just waiting for that to come around to the top of the display so we can take the timing. So around 10 degrees to go there we're just coming around to the 135 heading there and taking a look at the time you can see that that is showing about 1 minute and 30 seconds. So that's worked out pretty nicely as well. So the answer to the question if a half standard rate turn is maintained how long would it take to turn 135 degrees is A. 1 minute 30 seconds 